Yeah. And, um, and it's like the more I tried, pretty much the worse off I got. But I, I just thank God for the prayers of the righteous. Yes. Uh, which God develops much. Pastor! 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 Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Pastor! You, you. Oh, that was me. Pastor! That was me. Pastor, can you come here, Pastor? Who was that? That was me, Bishop. Huh? That was me. And what you say? I say, want what? I want to give him, I'll give my wife to Christ. And I want who to do it? I want you to do it. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. My Lord. It took the spirit. Glory to it took the spirit that had been where he is and was not ashamed to say I had been there for him to trust. Yes. Now my son was up here. Delivering people, saving people. He said, I don't want him to do it. I want you to do it because you done been the way I. Yeah. My God. Now, now tell them about your tell them about your, your journey now. Just thank God I haven't been, been in prison since 2010. Glory to God. Tell them what you tell them what he you doing in the church. 2013. 2013. Glory to God. They can't but but he's been to jail now since 2010. Am I right? Yes, you're right. But have you been to jail since 2013? Since you joined what church? Hello, somebody. Amen. You think it's because he's been doing everything right? He still do some of the same dirty things he was doing that led in the jail. Am I right? Absolutely right. Lord. When something don't make sense, that's when you know God is operating. Amen. Amen. That's it. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. When something don't make sense, yes. Jesus, he said he's doing the same thing that he was doing when he was going to prison yes. and in and out of the county jail. Yes. But he ain't been since he joined the church. That when something don't make sense, that's when you know God is operating. Glory. You better hear his glory. glory. And he ain't ashamed to use his testimony to help somebody in here who got who's struggling because they get ready to leave the church because they think they think they can do it without the church. But I'm telling you right now, it is a cover. Yes. And set him free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do y'all really think people calling me talking about I want to be under the spirit of Jesus? Because of me. Thank you. You better wake up. I'm a wretched vessel just like you. And probably nine times out of ten because God is using me, I'm even worse than you. And that means he gave me more testimonies that, that trust me in the area. I got more dirt in my life than you got in your life. I probably could put all y'all together and you still wouldn't add up to the dirt that I got in my life. That's why I can talk to you and help you. But the bottom line is I can't help you when you want to challenge the one that God says I gave the order to right. give you. Hello, yes. somebody. That's true. Yes. Thank you, man. Lord, it's a pleasure, sir, our brother in Minnesota. I mean, this your one chance. I ain't going to never give you this again. I'm going to see if you're a man or a boy. <laughs> see that? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, I like it when they don't hit me because you know what? Next time you come, I'm going to bust him up because I'm going to make him hit me one day. <laughs> come here, man. Come here. Come here. <laughs> It's trouble. Hey, there's trouble. There's trouble. Holy Ghost, thank you. There's trouble. Thank you, Holy Ghost, in the valley. There's no trouble in the spirit of Jesus. Because we have let God take over this church. Yes. Amen. We have let God turn his, 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 his church into a place of therapy for those who don't know him. This is truly a church where if you want therapy, you can get it. Spiritual therapy. Yes. But if you want an amen corner for your foolishness, we ain't going to beat you up about it, but we ain't going to condone it. Hello, somebody. Amen. I thank God for you. You want to read? Yes, so let's read. Read, Pastor. Read. They piled a great heap of stones over Achan, which remains to this day. That is why the place has been called the Valley of Trouble. In other words, we got a problem, brothers and sisters, because we're not praying for the root. 
we've got a problem. Why can't we come out of what we're into? Oh, I can pray, I can pray for, 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 little, for Sister Vanessa. I surely can. I can pray for Missionary Val and say she's the problem and she needs prayer because she got them demons. I can do that. I can pray for this one over here that's going to say whatever comes up, going to come out. I can pray for her. Y'all can pray for me because y'all said Bishop wasn't doing that. And I heard it. The Bishop wasn't doing that. The men would be better. And the Bishop wasn't doing that. Your husband would be delivered. I heard that. Really? Y'all can give me that much power? We got to pray for the root of the problem. Never have I been taught this. But God revealed this to me this morning. Anybody ever thought about praying for Adam? Anybody ever thought about praying for Eve? That's where it started. Adam and Eve introduced pain and love. There was no pain and love until Adam and Eve. Why don't we pray for Adam and Eve today? Let's pray for the root. Let's start acknowledging what the problem is. Missionary Irvin is not the problem of her problem. Lady Helen is not the problem of her problem. I'm not the problem of my problem. Eve and Adam is. Oh all right now, oh Lord. We always talk about breaking curses. Let's break by the one that started the curses. Let's yeah. All right Thank now. You. That's good. That's good. Anybody yeah. ever thought about that? No, sir. No, sir. Hey. Whatever your issue is, it ain't because of you. <laughs> it's because of the rule. And then you don't pray to Lord. You pray, Lord, thank Adam. Thank Eve for showing me what I should not do. Yes. yes. You ever thought about that? No, sir. Thank you, Adam. Yes. Instead of, I've been following you because I never prayed for you. And if I prayed for you, you would have told me this is what you should not do. Amen. Thank you, Eve. I never prayed for you, Eve. But God. Because if I had prayed for you, Eve, you would have came to me because I know that now I'm with God because I have the wherewithal to pray for the root and only God can tell me to pray for where it begins. So that means now I can only, I can, oh, if I can hear from my sister Gail, if I can hear, if I can hear from my, my, my auntie doctor and they're up there in heaven with God, I surely can hear from Adam. Yeah. I surely can hear from Eve. Amen. And they'll tell me, I was waiting on your prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. you, Holy Ghost. Glory, glory. Thank hallelujah. you, Holy Ghost. I've been waiting on your prayer. My God, my God. I've been waiting on your prayer. All right, yes. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Holy Ghost. Because when you pray for me, that means you know you can hear from me. All right, now. Adam say, I've been waiting on your prayer. Mm. So I can tell you. Don't do as I did. Listen to me and let me tell you what not to do. And the curses that are upon you shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Pray for Eve. Yes. And Eve will tell you women what not to do when it comes to dealing with your man or your husband or your better half or your other half or your spouse, whatever you want to call him. Today, you might call him something else tomorrow. <laughs> But Eve is your teacher. It's all right to walk beside your man, but, but when somebody approaches you, you let them talk to your man. Hello, somebody. He said, if I had, Adam was right there, and if I hadn't tried to be like Adam and, and be where Adam was, I would never have spoken to the serpent and the serpent knew better than to talk to Adam because Adam was walking in the pureness of a relationship with God. I was walking in a relationship with God through Adam. Yes. So he wouldn't touch, he wouldn't touch what was pure. I'm just telling you when I prayed this morning for Adam, he told me these things. When I prayed this morning for Eve, she told me these things. I'm telling you, we're so busy worried about talking to mama, talking about big mama, and talking to them on the other side. You better talk to the root of your problem, All baby. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's trouble in the valley because I because because the root is still growing because because I won't cut it off at the root. I won't cut it off at Adam. I won't cut it off at Eve. Talk to him. Yeah. Yes. All right, now. Come on.
God. There's yeah. trouble yeah. in the valley. And today you have been free. Stop lying. You got a problem with a certain sector of people? Confess that thing today. Confess that thing today. You got a problem with homosexual? Confess that thing today. Yeah. You got a problem with faking pastors like I did? I got I, I can't I, I, I had some hate in me with all these old liars in the pulpit that were faking, but I had to confess that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever God has made holy, can't nothing make it unholy. See, you got to understand, y'all know where that come from? This is holy ground. Take your shoes off. That was in the Old Testament. Yeah. Even if you do something unholy on, on, on holy ground, grace still got you. You see, they dance in the pulpit. They still help. Amen. In the Old Testament, when, 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 when they did something in the pulpit, when they touched the, when they touched the Ark of the Covenant, they were struck down. Yeah. Yeah. But grace got you even in the holy of holies. They were struck down because of the sins. And guess what? Sin no longer separates you now. But if you stop listening to your right now judges, sin will teach you humility. Amen? Amen. Everybody bless today. My Lord, my Everybody God, bless today. my God, my God. Thank Everybody bless God. today. There's trouble in your valley. Don't worry about the trouble in my valley. Take the trouble in your valley. What are you hiding that God that God that, that, that you are not free in Christ? My Lord. Yes, yes. There's trouble in who valley? My valley. My valley. Yes. What's going on? I, well, I, you know, I don't know. Pastor and, 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 and Mills, they've been sitting on the same road for two weeks. There must be peace in the house or something. None of your damn business. All right. Hey, come on now. Speak. You better say me. Hallelujah. That's right. I told him, I said, if I see that foolish up in the spirit of Jesus, if you ain't getting along, you better, you better get along when you walk through them doors. Now, yeah. one of you won't touch a mic if you, if you can't show God no matter what. That means you can't show love no matter what. If you can't show love no matter what, how the, how in the world are you going to teach people love? Right now, God bless you. that. Holy Ghost. That's the truth. Listen, you'll be using all those kind of languages and stuff and stuff. Right. Y'all ain't never heard me use. Y'all ain't never heard me you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do like y'all little, y'all little cussers do. Right, I'm going to use how y'all little cussers do. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> y'all hear me? Yes, sir. If you, let me show you something. If they show love when they don't want to show love in the house of God, they'll learn how to show love when they don't want to show love outside the house of God. You're right now. But if they come in the house of God showing what they learn in the world, they ain't got no business teaching my people. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So in it, if they're going they to they pretend, they're going to pretend to be doing what God said, at least up in here. Okay. Why? Because I ain't let their issues bring trouble to our valley. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Huh? And I, I was all right with them until God had a talk with me. And God told me, he said, if you don't check them two right now, I'm going to put somebody else up there that will. I said, I love you, dog. But you can't come in here looking correct, even if you ain't correct. I got to do something about that because I'm about to lose my relationship with the one that matters. Amen. All right, Amen. All right now. Oh, she ain't mad. He ain't mad. You know why they ain't mad? Because they know I ain't lying. That's right. I talked to them about a month ago, but I fine-tuned that thing last Sunday. I promise you I did. Amen. I fine Did I fine-tune it? Yes, you did. I went to the house and unexpected. I wish I'd have my vest on. Yeah, I was saying, because if I had my vest on, I stuck it out like that. Oh, what is that? It's some pocket talking. Hello, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we get out of here. Everybody stand right where you are. If you receive this word today, and you want to release the trouble in your valley, if you don't want to release the trouble in your valley, you ain't got no problem with the trouble in your valley, remain seated. But if you want to release the trouble in your valley, stand on your feet right now. You want to release the trouble in your valley. These words are not of me. 
These words are the, of the one that kept me in the midst of doing his work while I didn't look like I was what I am. Hello, somebody. Amen. I need you to repeat after me. Father, Father, I am free. I am free. And to show that I'm free, and to show that I am free, I will acknowledge, I will acknowledge the freedom, the freedom of everyone else, of everyone else. To show that I am free, to show that I am free, I will acknowledge, I will acknowledge the freedom, the freedom of everyone else, of everyone else. I am free. I am free. And to show that I'm free. And to show that I am free. I will acknowledge. I will acknowledge the freedom. The freedom of everyone else. Of everyone else. No longer. No longer. Will I look and say? Will I look and say? What a person shouldn't be. What a person shouldn't be. I will now accept. I will now accept. I will now accept. I will now accept what I have been sent to do. What I have been sent to do. And that is to love. And that is to love what is in bondage. What is in bondage. Indicating. Indicating. I am free. I am free. To free. To free. My Lord. My God. I am free. I am free. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God didn't put me back in jail Hallelujah. when I was still doing the same stupid things that led me to jail because he has set me free to make sure that others would know that when they concern themselves with setting others free, they know that they're free. And when you're concerning yourself with setting others free, there's no condemnation in your spirit. And when there's no condemnation in my spirit, that means I have nothing to hide. Amen. Repeat after me. Nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. Now close your eyes. Confess unto yourself the ones that you hate. Confess unto yourself a group of people, a sector of people that you hate. Call it out to yourself. He said, confess that thing unto man. You are a man or one man. Confess unto yourself. Free yourself right now so God can work on. Work on. Letting you know the devil can't throw this hate up in your face about what you hate no more. Confess that thing. Confess that thing. It's something somebody may have done to you to put you in a, in a position that that, 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 that that you felt like you shouldn't have been in. But you know what? Love them with, love them like you love your mama right now. Free yourself. Free yourself. Free yourself. Free yourself. Free yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I'm hanging up here because some of y'all got about 12 or 15 things y'all need to confess. It's just, it's just, and if you ain't got but one thing, confess it over and over. I shall not hate this no more. I do, the, I do not like people that do this. Free yourself. Free yourself. Now that you freed yourself from others, now free yourself from you by saying what you hate about your life. Hallelujah. Stop rebelling against God thinking you're rebelling against yourself by hating something in your own life. Confess it. Confess it. Confess it. Confess it. Confess it. Father, I wish I was. No longer say I wish I was. Father, thank you for where I am because if I, if I was where I wish I was, I might not be here in order to be where I am. Free yourself. Free yourself. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Evan, it's all right. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Evan, Sister Evan, it's real. The love is real. Thank you, Lord. I don't. I forgot your name, my brother. What's your name? Can I say something to you, brother Tyrone? Never have I seen a love like you have for that woman. And I thank God for me allowing, being able to meet you. 
Because you got every reason in the world to say no. But the God of you says, I love her for real, for real. Amen. Thank you for letting me see that kind of love, my brother. Amen. You need to be thankful, young lady. Thank you, Lord. you are blessed and you cannot be what? Cursed. I hope I didn't touch an area that I should not have but that I'm just being led by the Spirit. Sister Vanessa, you got a blessing coming. Amen. But don't let the devil turn that blessing into a curse. There's a, there's a spirit of anxiousness upon you right now. And I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. You shall remain calm you should remain a good steward in the place where God placed you and say, you know what? During this time, because you're the one that introduced thanking God for, you, for his wrath. So if you didn't do nothing else in your journey here, don't let those words have come out of your mouth in vain. You're special unto God, my sister. Yes. Yes. God said, "I know I can. I, I, I know you can do it when when I when I got the, when I got the restraints on you. But show God you love Him for real, for real. Say, even when you take them off me, I'm gonna love the church and attend the church even the more. Yes. This is your family, brother Terry. Man, I'm glad you finally got out the program." Amen. You're just transitioning now. God said, if you had started teaching that class three days after you got there, you would have you, have, you would have already transitioned out. But you're transitioning now. And one thing about when God transitions one, as we transition from this earth to heaven one day, we never transition back into this earth. Yes. God transitioned me out of the prison system. And because he transitioned me out of it, he also sent me a brother that wanted to be transitioned out. And now he's transitioned out not to go back again. Amen? Amen. Thank you, God. And if God, if you can see the move of God in the lives that I've already spoken, yes. slow the camera down and thank him for what he's doing in your life. Because yes. the things yes. you can see ain't the things that matters that he has done. It's the things you can't see. Yes, this brother hadn't thought about that until I brought it to his attention. Am I right? It's the things we can't see that matters yes. that are important. I know we got to go, but your soul right now is on the line. Somebody's soul is on the line right now. And I, and I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. You may be seated. You may be seated. Somebody's soul is on the line right now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shake a bull, say, Tin and Wilson. Yes, yes. I can't say, Shake a little bull, say, Tin and Wilson. Make a say, Shake a little bull, say, Tin and Wilson. Yes. Oh, my God, my God. Yes. The spirit of the living God. Yes. 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 Anymore, yes. because what I had allowed to die was was the carnality of the trouble to free you spiritually. Something had to die. Your carnality died today. Your emphasis on sin died today, and the presence of love has overtaken you and made you love a lover. Like only God can make. Hello, somebody. And we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And repeat after me. My children which are on earth. My children which are on earth. My kingdom is your kingdom. Please stand. My kingdom is your kingdom. I am nourishing you daily. I am nourishing you daily. Who's nourishing you? God. Who's nourishing you? God. How often? I gave you life today. You're not living because you're perfect. You're living because perfect love said, I'm going to extend the time for you to become perfect love. 
So, you add, this is not a choice. You add to the life of others. So you add to the life of others. Yeah, add to the life, life of, of others. I have forgiven your trespass. I have forgiven your trespasses. I have forgiven your trespasses. Now you got a choice. And if you don't do this, that means you're not adding to the life of others. So you can. Repeat. So you can. So you can. Forgive the trespasses of others. Forgive the trespasses of others. I have delivered you from temptation. I have delivered you from temptation. No longer will that trouble, that trouble in the valley bother you. No longer will the trouble in the valley bother you. Because I have been delivered. Because I have been delivered. Did I say something wrong? I've delivered you from temptation because I have led you into purpose. purpose. So what that's saying, Pastor? Whatever happens from this day, if I end up in a simple place, it's only an appearance for the purpose of who? God. Oh my God. Glory. Oh my God. Huh? Don't forget the crackhead whose God has made the head to feel the cracks in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Huh? But there was a time y'all would have been saying, "Oh, what a name! What a name! But what a what a purpose! What a purpose!" Oh, yeah. Hello, somebody. So don't live to love. Don't live to love. In other words, don't prove you living. Don't don't prove don't don't prove your love. Just love to live. And if you love, it says, if I love without hate, it says I'm already living with God. Glory. If I love without hating, I'm already living with God. I know this was a little long today, but it was much needed. Don't you agree? Yeah. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to prepare ourselves for our communion. Amen. Amen. Oh, ties are That's what I'm talking you got your, You got your, you got your pastor spirit. We don't think about money. That's what I'm talking about. 